We are coming out today to the store to buy school uniforms for some refugee children in our area. All right, well I feel like my house like blew up. It's just messy everywhere. Everywhere. Except on, and even on the table. In other news, I have a big goal today and that goal is to cook dinner <laughs> all week somehow. I've not been cooking dinner, like we've been eating, but it's basically like, oh, here's a peanut butter sandwich, here's a cheese crisp, let's grab a pizza. Like we haven't had just like a nice sit down meal. And some weeks I do awesome at that and we eat great every night and this week it just hasn't happened. So it's the morning time and I figure I've gotta figure out what I'm making tonight because if I don't, there's like no chance we're gonna eat in. All right, so we came out to swim lessons this morning and the kids are so excited because dad's here with the underwater camera. Okay, and come on, come. Good job. Okay, go. Good job. Did you do it? I did it. I did it. Ready, go. Kendra had a meeting this afternoon and so she asked me to help out with the kids with their school for today. She wanted me to do something with math, so Isaac and I, what did we work on with math? Batting averages, how to calculate a batting average. Yep, so I just gave him a bunch of different scenarios and he calculated batting averages. And now we're gonna do kind of a science experiment art project. Yeah, can I have one cup of water please? Yes, you can. So we put in some water, the kids are putting in can food I, coloring. I'm going to get a spoon for me. Guys, put in the oil. Oh, it did. It's a bubble. It just is on the top. Why does it do that? Because it's more dense on the uh, the water. Can more I dense. have? Yeah. Salt. So this is about density. Now, what do you think will happen, Caleb, if we add salt into it? I don't know. What do you think? Will the salt lay on top of the oil? Yeah. No, it'll lay on the bottom. It'll lay. It'll go to the very bottom. Whoa. Whoa! It's coming up! It's coming up! Okay, let's see what happens if you put some food coloring in. Now watch, is it gonna go down in? Yeah. Now see what happens if you put some more salt in, Caleb. Whoa! Whoa. That's so cool! Ah. Whoa! See this? It's gonna get pitch black. Oh. Yeah, cool, right? 
So I just called Jeremy to talk to him about like our plans for the night and then I was realizing what a lazy person I am sometimes because he's home. He's actually in Caleb's room with Caleb doing something with Caleb right now and I was sitting here like, oh, what should we do? And I was like, I'll just call him and that's like so lame. Anyway, have you guys ever done that? Have you ever called someone when they're actually like really close by? Let me know so that I feel better that I'm not the only lazy person in the world. Laura. So I just discovered Laura in the bathroom. She's got quite the bubbles going on. What are you doing? I'm washing my hands. I can see that you're washing your hands. You got lots of bubbles. Hey, can we try to keep the bubbles in the sink? Put the bubbles in the sink. Let's get a towel, we'll clean it up, okay? I'll clean my hands off. Wipe it off. So today has not gone according to plans. Like the day has just gone away from us. It's been so busy. Oh, Dad? <laughs> Did I just call you on accident? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm actually vlogging right now and I was holding my um, camera in my hand and apparently I accidentally oh, dialed you. I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> Can I show you how I shoot this? What? Why do you tuck in your shirts? Because then it makes it um, look nicer. Oh, it makes it look nicer? Mm -hmm. Well, you look fantastic. All right, what are you gonna wear on your feet? Nothing. Nothing? We're going to the store, dude. You gotta have something on your feet. Why? That's one of the rules of stores. Ha why? It's one of the rules. They put it on their door. They say you have to have a shirt on and shoes to come in here. Why a shirt? So you're not. Did they say pants? Uh, they, I don't think they usually say the word pants. Then you can have no pants on. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> so we're walking into a store and I look over and I notice that Laura has a big like stain on her shirt. But she, she also, a... next to it, had a sticker. And so I pick up the sticker and I put it on top of the stain. It was a piece of a cookie that she had drooled all over herself. So. <laughs> Mom hack. Yeah. Mom hack for stains, just keep a sticker in the car and just you'll be fine. We are coming out today to the store to buy school uniforms for some refugee children in our area. There's been a lot of refugees coming to the Kansas City area recently and my heart just goes out to them. Like here they're coming to a new country with nothing and to think of the experiences and the struggles and challenges that they've been through. like. I'm just really grateful for some small way to reach out and try to lift that burden. So we're going to be getting school uniforms for them and donating them. And then we're also going to be buying some books to donate to them as well. All right, you guys each get to pick one book. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Is it so pretty? Thank you. Okay, now you can do it. All right, let me blow on it. Okay, now try it. Okay. Nope, the other way. There you yeah. go. <laughs> you did it. That was a magic trick. It's because I blew on it. Think that'll work? This one. I got this one. Did you find some socks? I find some like this. Yep. So it's been really good to talk to the kids about what it would be like to be a refugee, to have to leave your home, to go to a new country, how scary, how difficult, how hard that would be. I'm just grateful that we have some friends that found out a way that there was something that we could do to help out. I think these ones might be a little bit small. Let's get the next size up. All right, so we picked up the clothes that we want to donate to the refugee children, and I also got this. Look at that. Tomorrow Laura's skin. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> anyway, it's gonna be a big day at our house for the uh, potty princess tomorrow. I can't wait. <laughs> Why are you excited about it? Do you want to clean up the floor everywhere where she pees? We'll yeah. let you do that, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you excited about it, Lisi? I just I want her to be happy. You want her to be happy? Uh -huh. She's gonna be excited about it. Good night, Jay Hassel. Good night, Jay Hassel. Out.